possible breakthrough in preventing pregnancy, unlike anything that's ever been done before, a hormone-free male contraceptive. The pill is in its first human trial in the UK. It works to block a form of vitamin A, which can prevent sperm from forming and really appears to have little to no side effects and doesn't impact fertility long term. So let's bring in Dr. Gunda Georg, a Regents professor at the University of Minnesota and one of the developers of this revolutionary pill. Professor, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, mm. this, this is unique in that this contraceptive does not involve hormones. Talk about why that's significant. So um, uh, many clinical trials have been conducted with uh, hormonal birth control pills, uh, candidates for men. And uh, we have, however, seen uh, some side effects um, that um, are like uh, reducing the libido, weight gain, uh, there could be cardiovascular effect and the like. So um, there are certain uh, liabilities with hormonal birth control pills. Also, I have to say that some newer agents that are currently undergoing uh, clinical testing um, have um, actually fewer side effects. So um, there may be one day a, female, a, a hormonal birth control pill for men, uh, but what we are targeting really is um, to um, uh, obtain a hormone-free pill. So those side effects that you see with the hormonal pill would not be seen with our uh, with our particular approach. All right, so Professor, you know, this, this blocks access to vitamin A, which the sperm needs to form. So mm -hmm. does it in any way potentially impact the health of the patient? Could we see, let's say, a vitamin A defic deficiency in these male patients? Um, so, um, you know, what happens is uh, vitamin A is converted to what's called retinoic acid in the testis itself. And there we block access to what's called radionic uh, receptor uh, alpha. And so uh, we don't expect that um, this uh, drug has any other effect anywhere in the body. And uh, we have done a number of uh, studies, particularly with mice, but most importantly with non human primates with the monkeys of course that's very close to humans and we have not observed any side effects so far of course you can never totally anticipate with uh, animal studies what happens uh, later on in humans but um you know so we have uh, i guess uh, very good evidence that this is a very safe treatment all right well that that's good news uh and hopefully that that evidence continues dr gunda georg right. thank you so much for your time Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.